I, I believe that lithium will come first and then sodium comes second. What happens if your electronics could soon be powered by an ultra-cheap sea salt battery? Researchers at the University of Sydney are touting new breakthroughs in the lab that they say may lead to new low-cost sodium sulfur batteries with four times the energy storage capacity of lithium-ion batteries. So what does the new sodium sulfur battery offer? And will Elon Musk invest in this technology? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. In order to truly achieve climate neutrality, the world would require 18 times more lithium by 2030 than it currently needs. The proportion will increase to 60 times more by 2050. The extraction of lithium usually results in a loss of biodiversity, water shortages, damage to the ecosystem, and the degradation of the soil. When the metal is created through evaporation ponds, it takes a around 2.2 million liters to create just one metric ton. This is where the sea salt battery could provide an alternative, which brings us to molten salt batteries. Molten salt batteries aren't a new concept. They've been around for 50 years, but they've been an inferior alternative with a short energy life cycle. To overcome these limitations, lead researcher Dr. Shenlong Zhao from the University of Sydney has altered electrodes in the battery that improve the reactivity of the sulfur, which is what gives it such a high capacity. Capacity. So how does its price compare to lithium batteries? The eponymous key ingredient in the sodium sulfur battery is a type of molten salt that can be processed from seawater, which Earth has quite a lot of. As such, the main battery ingredient costs much less to produce than lithium ion batteries. After a series of downward revisions in the average price of lithium ion batteries over the past decade, rising raw material costs and inflation resulted in a 7% increase in 2022 to reach an all-time high of $151 per kilowatt hour. Our sodium battery has the potential to dramatically reduce costs, only $20 per kilowatt hour, while providing four times as much storage capacity. This is a significant breakthrough for renewable energy development, which although it reduces costs in the long term, has had several financial barriers to entry, said Dr. Zhao in a release. How effective is this battery? The result is a sodium sulfur battery with a high capacity of 1,017 milliampheres at room temperature, which the team notes is around four times that of a lithium ion battery. Importantly, the battery demonstrated good stability and retained around half of this capacity after a thousand cycles, which is described in the team's paper as unprecedented. How long can molten salt batteries last? It is a high temperature battery. Molten salt batteries operate at 300 degrees Celsius and their lifetime is claimed to be 15 years or 4,500 cycles with an efficiency of around 85%, which means it lasts at least twice as long as lithium ion. Is this battery an environmentally safe solution? It's quite necessary that the new batteries that are being made be absolutely renewable. This is why it's a big achievement that the new sea salt batteries are created from energy that will not harm the environment. With climate change, there is a definite urgency to switch completely to renewable energy sources like solar and wind energy. However, However, it must be understood that renewable sources of energy are not really as consistent as other sources. These include batteries, as they would also have to store the electricity somewhere. This is why most batteries are usually created with rare earth metals like graphite, lithium, and cobalt. Where would molten salt batteries be applied? But they, very, they are now considering to test uh, sodium sulfur batteries for, uh, for grid storage. Because sea salt is everywhere, it can provide a scalable alternative to lithium-ion batteries. Sodium sulfur batteries will not be appropriate for use in automobiles. However, the cells are also less toxic and more energy intense, making them easier to recycle and more economical to produce when compared to lithium-ion batteries, which are widely used in electronic devices and for energy storage. The world is going to need energy storage options for large EV charging stations and grid-scale storage to, to help make renewable energy dispatchable so we can close more gas-fired peaker plants and coal-fired baseload generating stations. Such technology has the potential to guarantee greater energy security more broadly and allow more countries to join the shift towards decarbonization. Anything that reduces carbon emissions is welcoming news. We hope that by providing a technology that reduces costs, we can sooner reach a clean energy horizon. It probably goes without saying, but the faster we can decarbonize, the better chances we have of capping warming. 
coming, said lead researcher Dr. Zhao. So how long will it take for this battery to get out on the market? I have no clue, but I think it's gonna take a few years, maybe at least 10 years. Having demonstrated the technology in coin cell batteries in laboratory testing, the researchers are now working on pouch cell versions as they eye a path to commercial use. That means five years or more before actual production begins, or even longer. While we might wish such new technologies came online sooner, it's encouraging that there may be solutions for lower cost energy storage coming in due course. Can Tesla make use of molten salt battery chemistry? Tesla uses two primary chemistries for its batteries right now, lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate batteries. Lithium batteries are used for most EVs except the standard range vehicles that don't need fast acceleration or power and for stationary storage in megapacks. Tesla could make use of sodium right now, but it would be risky. The reason is that the battery chemistry hasn't been widely proven to have a problem-free lifespan, and testing hasn't been thoroughly done in EVs. For Tesla to make use of this sodium battery chemistry, from the University of Sydney in Australia, they'd have to allocate a portion of their staff to testing this new battery. I think it's worth doing to prove if it's viable and indeed four times more efficient than lithium. It's the commercialization of this sodium battery that's the bottleneck to its future. Like all successful products and innovations, there has to be an extended testing period. Just look at the Tesla FSD. It's been tested for many years now and will continue to be tested for years to come. How do you feel about the future of molten salt batteries? And how long do you think it'll take for it to hit the market. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.